चलिए तो दोस्तों शुरू करते हैं विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस दैट द केस वेयर द सोर्स लीव डज नॉट हैव एन एंट्री फॉर द रिमोट डेस्टिनेशन इन द एंड पॉइंट टेबल एंड वी डिस्कस अबाउट द हाउ वी कैन इनेबल द हार्डवेयर प्रॉक्सी और स्पाइन प्रॉक्सी इन द बीडी ओके टुडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट द वेयर द सोर्स लीव डज नॉट हैव एन एंट्री फॉर द रिमोट डेस्टिनेशन एंड अंडर द बीडी फ्लोट मोड इज ऑन ओके सो हाउ द फोर्डिंग विल हैपन सो हियर यू कैन सी दैट अर्ली इन द केस ऑफ स्पाइन प्रॉक्सी दिस इन द आउटर हेड source ip and destination ip destination ip was the anicast tap ip it was the ip for the spine so okay, anicast ip was used for the forwarding but in the case of flood mode okay when the flood mode is on so what you will see destination ip will be the bd bridge domain multicast and land point ip and after the spine will do the flood based on the f tap okay this is the change actually from the anicast tap ip to this will be the bd multicast tap ip and then after that flooding will be happen on the basis of f tap okay and one more uh, how spine learn about the endpoint okay so as we know a leaf learn a endpoint okay once you put the entry in the endpoint table as a local endpoint is learn okay it will uh, as leaf learn endpoint as a local okay leaf will report this local endpoint to the spine via the coop via the coop protocol all the leaves Let's suppose this leaf have an one entry, one endpoint. This leaf have an one endpoint. Both of the leaves will report this endpoint entry via the coop to the spine. Okay, spine will store these all these entries in the coop database, and they will synchronize with the other spine. And what is the main? What is the other purpose of coop? We can say we have already seen that spine proxy mode. Correct. When leaf does not know the destination IP, leaf can simply what leaf can do? Leaf can simply forward the traffic to the spine. and after the spine can decide where the traffic needs to be forward okay and one more important point is normally spine will not push the any entry to any leaf okay but there is one exception case of uh, bounce entry what do mean bounce entry let's suppose here is this uh, end point here this end host is connected ip a mac b okay now this end point this code move to the behind the leaf too okay So what will happen is earlier this endpoint was here behind the leaf one so in the spine coop database entry was like this one IP A MAC A is connected behind the leaf one this is the entry in the you will see in the coop database okay let's suppose now this host move to the behind the leaf two okay now leaf two will report this entry endpoint entry to the spine via the coop okay. Spine will came to know that earlier this uh, host was connected with the leaf one. Now this host is uh, reported by the leaf two IP A MAC two behind leaf two. Okay, what spine will do? Spine will push this entry. This entry. This is this entry we call bounce entry where the host from one leaf move to the other leaf. So spine will push this entry to this leaf. But spine will spine will only push the entry to the this leaf only. Where the earlier this host was connected, this will not push the entry to this leaf three. Okay, so in the leaf three, still in the endpoint table, there will be the only entry like IP A MAC A is connected behind the leaf one only. So once this leaf one will try to connect with the IP A MAC A host, any traffic uh, will forward from the leaf three to any host which is connected with the behind the leaf 3 any host traffic which will uh, destination for the ipa mac a traffic will come on the leaf 1 on the leaf 1 in the endpoint table entry will be reflected as a b b means bounce entry and after this this leaf can inform to this leaf about that endpoint was put behind the leaf 2 so this is how bounce entry works so this is how you can uh, as you have seen the last couple of video also how to check the detail information about the endpoint so you can run the command on the leaf show system internal etm endpoint ip or uh, mac whatever the option we what are the detail we have like for the check for the mac also with this to ip also we can check and what we can get we give we will be able to get that uh, we need id for the bd and we are have an pi wlan and multiple other information with the help of we need we can check the coop data on the spine here we are in the command show coop internal info repo ep key here we passing the bd we need then mac address and after that here we getting the coop data bank information here we getting the this is the tap address publisher id okay this is the real endpoint data we are getting okay 
similar way with the help of vrf we need we also can get the similar kind of data data as we know bd we need uh, we used to for the l2 traffic and vrf we need will come into the picture when the l3 traffic in the weeks and had this information will be passed bd we need or vrf we can support this this is how we are checking the entry uh, show endpoint vrf tenant colon vrf name after that in the last here you will see the flag b b flag means these are the entry are the bounce entry so bounce entry means these entry are pushed from the spine via the coop okay what is bounce entry when the remote endpoint created by the coop when endpoint is moved we already discussed endpoint move case uh, so by checking this when you find this b flag set bounce entry flag set so you can identify this entry pushed by the spine with the help of coop okay and this is under the, under the system under the system setting here you can check about the group group okay so here you can see that we have an spine 103 and 104 these are the oracle nodes under the group okay and these are their addresses these are the vtap addresses and if you go to the fabric under the fabric here in the fabric setup policy this is the tap pool is defined from this tap pool only every leaf spine will get the tunnel endpoint IP V type IPs. Okay, this pool we define when we initially indicate the APK and leaf during the initial setup of the fabric. 